Hey everybody, it's Mr. Carr again. Today we're talking about 11.3, finding the perimeter area of a figure, but we're gonna do it on a coordinate plane. Sorry about the jump there. It's being a little bit tricky for me today. All right, uh, but we're gonna do it on a coordinate plane. So all this really means is that we have to identify our key characteristics, which is what makes up the, all of our formulas. For example, parallelogram is area, um, excuse me, area equals base times height. Same with the rectangle, base times height. A trapezoid is one half of base one plus base two times the height. A rhombus and a kite are one half of diagonal one times diagonal two. Triangle is one half of base times height. Yeah, write that a little better. Okay. And a regular polygon is one half the apothem times perimeter. Now, we're probably not gonna do a lot of regular polygons on here, so I don't think we have to worry about that too much. But the rest of these, the key is identifying each of these things. So like you'll be able to find what is the base and what is the height of a triangle, okay? Find the two diagonal lengths if you're dealing with a rhombus or a kite. You have a trapezoid, you need to find two bases and then the corresponding height to that. Okay, so that's all we need to do is when we work through these these parts for our areas, we're gonna find these uh, find the key things that make up these formulas on here. Perimeter is easy. Perimeter is just the distance all around. So we look at this problem here. Find the perimeter area of the triangle with these vertices. So let me plot these points real quick. So we got two eight for f. G is at four four, and then two zero four h. All right. So I got a triangle made up of these three sides. Okay, so for distances, we can do distance formula. FH is easy, I just have to count that out. That is gonna have a length of eight. Okay, FG, I can do this at, with a Pythagorean theorem right here. That's got two and then one, two, three, four. Okay, so I'm gonna do that over here. Pythagorean theorem says it'll be and we'll call that x. x squared is equal to two squared plus four squared. So x squared is equal to four plus 16. x squared is equal to 20. And for our purposes, I'm gonna leave it at the, as the square root of 20 for now. Okay, and I look down here for gh. And that is gonna give me the uh, same thing, two and four. So that's actually gonna be the same length as x. So we'll call that the square root of 20. So for perimeter, I'm just going to add up 8 plus the square root of 20 plus the square root of 20. Okay, so I put those together. I'm just going to get the decimal number from that. So I'll put that in my calculator here. So we got square root of 20. Oops. Square root of 20 plus square root of 20 plus 8. That comes out as a perimeter of 16. Point Nine four four, and because we're just dealing with a coordinate plane, we're going to call it units. For area, remember it's a triangle, so we know we have to do one half base times height. Now, technically speaking, any of the three sides could be a base. But I'm going to pick the easiest one, which is this will be my base. And the height has to be perpendicular, so that's going to be this length, which is two. So the base is eight, and the height is two. That makes it a lot easier if I work that way. Okay, just find two lengths that are perpendicular to each other. So that means my area is one half of the base, which is eight times the height for two. So I multiply those out. One half times eight is four times two. My area is gonna give me eight units squared. Okay, all right. Find the perimeter area of the kite. So I'm gonna just label it right now. I know it's gonna be one half of diagonal one times diagonal two. So after I do everything, I'll find the perimeter of the, of the shape. I'm still gonna to need to find the two diagonal lengths, which will be a little bit different. So for perimeter, we'll start by plotting everything. So L is at three, five, three, five, whoops. There's L. M is at six, eight. N is at nine, five. And P is at six zero. Oh, 
Okay. So I need to find four links. We've got LM, MN, NP, and LP. Now, thankfully, we know based on the kite, I can kind of look at it here. We know these two are going to match up and these two are going to match up. So I'm only going to do Pythagorean theorem twice here. So if I look at this right here, I can make a right triangle. We'll call that X. That's one, two, three length here. And then one, two, three length here. Okay. So that is going to give me MN and LM. So the first two on there. So we'll say X squared is equal to three squared plus three squared. So X squared is equal to nine plus nine. X squared is equal to 18. So square root of that. I'll just have the square root of 18 for now. So that's both this one and this one. Okay, for the other one, we'll do down here. So that's one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. Oops. We'll call this spot Y. So Y squared is equal to three squared plus five squared. So it's gonna give me nine plus 25. Y squared equal to 34. So y equals the square root of 34. And again, because the way the, everything matches up, there'll be these two here, square root of 34, square root of 34, okay? So we're just doing Pythagorean theorem to find the lengths for perimeter. It's gonna be everything added up. So the square root of 18 plus the square root of 18 plus the square root of 34 plus the square root of 34. Okay, so I'll put that in my calculator real fast. So square root of eight, let's see here. Two times square root of 18, and then there's two square root of 34s. That's gonna give me 20.147. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. For area, that's actually gonna be even easier because the two diagonals are on there pretty easily. That has a length of eight. That's one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. So the two diagonals are six and eight. So diagonal one is six, diagonal two is eight. So my area is one half of six times eight. So that's gonna give me three times eight. So my area is gonna be 24 square units. Okay. All right, let's do one more example. We have a parallelogram. As always, as base times height. Okay, so we'll start with plotting everything here. We got negative three, zero for point A, negative two, two for point B, three, two for point C, and then two, zero, for point D. All right. Okay. So parallelogram. We got to find all four lengths for the perimeter. So we got AB, BC, CD, and AD. BC and AD are going to be quick and easy because I could just count them. One, two, three, four, five. So that's BC is five and so is AD. Okay, for the other two, we've got Pythagorean theorem. So I've got a two and a one. So I can call it X squared is equal to two squared plus one squared. That's gonna be four plus one. So X squared equals five and X equals the square root of five. So that's both of these. Okay, from there, perimeters just again, adding everything up. So I've got Five plus five plus the square root of five plus the square root of five. Oh, hello. Okay, so we got I'll come out to fourteen point four seven two units. Okay, formulas base times height. Make sure your base and height are perpendicular to each other. So in this purpose. This length will be my height. The base is five. The height is two when I count that out. Okay, it's just one, two. So 
area for that is just five times two, giving me 10 units squared. And that's it, okay? Three different examples. The key about area can be pretty quick and easy as long as you understand what you're looking for for the base times height. Pretty much all perimeters are the same. You're just gonna calculate all four sides or three sides of the triangle, add them up in the end. Sometimes we get some decimal numbers, sometimes it'll be whole numbers, just depends on what you get, okay? All right, and that is it for 11.3. Take care, everybody.